Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Power BI. In this session of the tutorial, let's understand how do we create a parameter and also use that parameter to create a date dimension. Let's start. First, let's create a blank query. And the reason we are creating this blank query is because you will have to create a date dimension. Now, as soon as you get into the Power Query, you get an option for managing parameters. Clicking on the drill, drill down, clicking on the drop down, you get to see two options. One is manage parameters and the other one is new parameter. So that we don't have any parameters, we can create a new parameter. The parameter that I am creating will be named as start year. And here you get an option to specify whether you want this parameter to be a required parameter or an optional parameter. The type here allows us to define the data type of the parameter. The suggested values gives us three options. One is any value, the other one list of values, the third option is query. Any value helps us, allows us to define the value of our choice. List of values creates a table where we can supply more than one value. This also gives us option to define the default value as well as the current value. Query allows us to import data for the parameter from a different query. Now, I'm going for any value because only one value is of my interest. I'm also creating one more parameter. And I'm naming it as end year. Here again, I'm not changing any of the other items. I'm just specifying the end year as 2017. As you can see, if you right click on a query, you get to see different options, which will uh, allow us to copy a query, paste a query, delete a query, rename, enable for load, include and report refresh. And there are also various other options like duplicate, reference, move to group, move down, move up, create functions, convert to parameters, and advanced editor as well as properties. This also is enabled for the parameters, except that in case of a query, enable load will be checked by default, while for the parameter, we have to manually set enable load. Now, as we all as we all as we have already created a blank query, we are going to write a source code in the advanced editor. Now, to go to the advanced editor, I'm just going to the transform. Sorry, there is an option for advanced editor in the home home option of the ribbon. On clicking that, advanced editor opens. Advanced editor gets modified depending on the items you do in a query. Now I have this source code. So here, what I'm defining is the start date should be date function of start year comma one comma one, which means in this year I'm considering first month and first date. Similarly, for end date, in this end year, the date has to be the month has to be 12 and the date has to be 31, which means it starts from 1 1 2016 since 2016 is the start year in our case and ends in 31 12 2017 since 2017 is the end year and then I'm calculating the number of days. I'm using the function duration days to calculate the number of days between end date and start date. After finding out the number of days, I should have to create list of dates to create a date dimension for which I'm using a function called list dates. Here I'm defining start date should be my starting date, which is 1 1 2016. The number of days should be my ending days. Number of days plus one should be my ending days, which is 1 1 2018. And duration, duration is a function where we can define based on what the date has to be incremented. Here I'm defining one as my increment date, which means my date has to be incremented by one. Clicking on done, I get a list created here. Now, to create a dimension, I, I cannot use a list. So, I should, I should have to convert this list to a table. For which, under the transform section of the ribbon, I am having an option 
called two table i'm i'm clicking on two table i get an option where i can define the, del the delimiter that i should consider for converting this list to a table and in case of any extra columns how should be considered now i i keep everything as default clicking on okay my list gets converted to a table here i can maybe rename my column to actual date so now 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 that we have now that we have a date column here's the trick as far as power bi is concerned we don't require a date dimension from the database in case if date is not going to be very frequently used now that i have a date on clicking on date i also have a date drop down in the add column section of my ribbon so clicking on that i get various options where i can create a date date only year and inside year i am having options to create a year start of year end of year now that i have a date i am going to click on year on clicking on here a new column get created automatically from the date column which was selected by us apart from year i am also creating a month so depending on the date that was selected a new month is created to understand this much better we can probably or maybe go to a different date so as you can see from this for for this date my year is 2017 and my month is 4 get the day i can also click on the day so this gives me that it is the 7th day of the 4th month of the year 2017 as you might already know in power bi this is not just the only way to create a day dimension to be frank every tool has more than one way of doing the same thing that's all in this tutorial if you like this session of the tutorial please like comment and subscribe for more videos